Hi, I'm Shagun Mehra. I'm a chef and food stylist. I'm taking my mantra and my philosophy on the road to farms across the country, whipping up tasty treats along the way. This is The Farm Life, brought to you by Minute Maid, and you're invited to this gourmet getaway with me. Pack your appetite. Welcome to the final episode of Minute Maid Palm Life. I have been on a journey across India to find the freshest fruit and make fabulous picnic food. I have visited farms from Sindhudurg to Nasik and Nagpur and tasted fresh fruit from the orchards. We've been on the road, now we're back at the farmhouse and we're about to cap off our journey with a fruit extravaganza of epic proportion. I got these amazing mosambis freshly harvested from Maharashtra. I got these oranges from an organic farmer who's using an Israeli method in Nagpur. I got these beautiful heavy guavas from Sindhudurg despite arriving at the wrong time of the season. And I even got some mangoes I think. Oh no, I think I ate them all. So for us to have a really good fruit party, I think we need to go to the market and get some fruits. Let's go. So today my trip to the market was especially fruitful, full of fruit. Anyway, that has left me feeling totally famished and hence I'm going to hook myself up with a really nice midday meal. So we're used to eating fruit charts at these typical weddings, you know, with the same sort of masalas in it. And I thought that perhaps I will work on the chart concept, but I'm going to zing it up and make it a little bit different and make a fruit bhel. So you've all seen these bhel walas making bhel, right? I've decided I'm going to compete with them. So you see how quick I'm going to make this bhel. I've got my pot. I've got kurmura or the mamra or the rice crisps. Very quickly, I must move very quickly. Onions. This might be an alternate career option. Shagun's bhel ki lari. Wow. Pomegranate. In go my apples. There's green as well as red apples. And of course, my favorite thing, chilies. I can never get enough of those. Crunchy. There needs to be crunchy. So I've got sheeng, which is crushed and roasted peanuts. Fantastic. So I'm going to add my kiwi in the end because this might end up making my bhel a bit soggy. And then I've got my sea salt. I love kurmara, I love bhel, kiwi, crazy, and lots of coriander. So throwing in my coriander, it's like a sukha bhel. So I mix it like the bhel walas do. So before my bhel goes soggy, I quickly Squeeze in my nimbu to make this bhel nice and khatta. Wow, it's healthy, it's delicious, it's different. And this is my favorite part, the taste. Mm. That's khatta, spicy and tikka. So I need a nice, cooling, chill drink, obviously, to pair with this. So I'm going to quickly plate this up. And there you have it, my yummy bhel. So what do I have for a drink? What does this look like? A lassi. So I'm going to churn my lassi like this. So I'm taking my lassi. So I'm going to take my Minute Maid. Mixed fruit juice. So I'm going to put in some rose water. So that it gets a beautiful nice scent of flowers. I'm going to put in some honey to sweeten it just a little. And I'm going to squeeze in 
a little lime. Churn, churn, churn. I'm enjoying this. So I'm ready to pour this beautiful drink. Rose pink, it's beautiful. And garnish some beautiful seeds of pomegranate. And my snacks are ready and I'm going to leave you be. Toodles. Discovering the fruits of India on my farm life has been a fabulous experience. The mangoes, santras and mosambis may be over, but there are a hundred fruits out there waiting to be transformed into beautiful farm fresh picnics. I can't wait to take off again. Can you?